Budget 223 was announced and as usual, there's a bunch of goodies and benefits for individuals and family. There's cash out now, tax benefit and relief, ASB benefit, PTPT and even benefits for home buyer. So, let's not waste time. Here's everything you need to know in 7 minutes. First, the good old Bantuan Keluarga Malaysia BKM for B40 families. The one-off cash assistance is given based on household income and number of kids. Family with a monthly household income of less than 2,500 ringgit and more than 5 kids can get up to 2,500 ringgit one-off, while families with 1 to 4 kids can get 1,000 to 2,000 ringgit one-off. For families with monthly household income between 2,500 ringgit to 5,000 ringgit, they can get in between 500 ringgit up to 1,250 ringgit one off, depending on the number of kids they have though. Single parent household family who falls into any of this category will get an additional 500 ringgit on top of the above amount, which means single parent household can get up to 3,000 ringgit under the BKM initiative. Then, Women who fall under the BKM receiver category who give birth to a child in 2023 will receive an additional 500 ringgit cash incentive as well. Looks like 2023 is gonna be a year for babies. Now, if you're unmarried elderly or a single folk, well, you're not left out as well. Each will get 600 ringgit or 350 ringgit depending on your income level. Second, Bantuan Awal Persekolahan where families with children of schooling age will receive 150 ringgit cash incentive for each schooling kid in the family. This is regardless of the level of household income. So, whether you are B40, M40 or T20, you will be eligible to receive this as long as you have kids of schooling age. Third, E Pemula. Youth between age 18 to 20 and full-time students age 21 years old and above, 200 ringgit will be credited to your E wallet. One off. While adults with income below 100,000 ringgit annually, 100 ringgit will be credited into their e-wallet account. Four, mobility assistance. Now, this one is kind of like a relocation assistance fund. For those of you who are migrating out of your resident state to work in another state, you can get a one-off cash assistance. Ah, if your resident state is in Semenanjung and you're migrating to another state in Semenanjung to work, you can apply for 500 ringgit mobility assistance fund. Or if the migration is between Sabah Sarawak to Semenanjung or vice versa, you can receive 1,000 ringgit mobility fund. So, do check out for more information on the Perkeso website later on. Fifth, a one-off grant for SMEs. So, if you are SME owner or a registered taxi driver, you will get a 1,000 ringgit grant. One-off. Six, lower income tax rates for individual income tax. Tax rate for income bracket between 50,000 to 70,000 ringgit is a 2% reduction and I love this, get to save some money again. For income bracket of 70,000 to 100,000 ringgit, the tax rate will be 19%. That's a reduction of 2% from the original 21%. 7. SME will also enjoy a lower income tax rate. This is for the first 100,000 ringgit chargeable income for the year 2023. It will be reduced to 15% instead of a 17%. 8. Tax relief for dental treatment. So, in 2023, you can claim up to 1,000 ringgit in tax relief for dental treatment for yourself, your spouse, or your children. I guess for those of you who are thinking about getting your teeth fixed, whether is it a braces or crowning, 2023 will be your year to do that. Ninth. Tax relief for Tasca or kindergarten enrollment. Now, this enrollment is not for yourself but for your children, alright? You can claim up to 3,000 ringgit tax relief for your kids' kindergarten or Tasca enrollment. 10. This is a crazily, crazily good one. A 5 years tax exemption for women who are returning to work after a career break. Oh, imagine. Five years, five years no need to pay income tax, you know. <laughs> you still don't go back to work. Ah. 11. For PT, PTN borrowers, good news for you. Between 1st of November 2022 until 30th of April 2023, if you settle your PT, PTN loan in full, you can get 20% off. However, if you choose to settle at least 50% of your PT, PTN loan, you can still get a discount of 15%. Now, for those of you who don't have that much of cash lying around, don't worry, all you need to do is just sign up for the salary deduction or auto debit. Then you will also get a 15% discount. And for students who are graduating next year, now if you manage to graduate with a first class degree, your PTPTN will be waived. 
Yes, wave. So study hard, okay? Don't go clubbing already. 13 is about ASB. In 2023, the limitation of shareholding for ASB1 and ASB2 for each investor will increase from 200,000 to 300,000 ringgit. On top of that, for the B40 Bumi Putra community, budget has allocated 100 million for ASB financing fund via BSN and it's provided at an amazingly low rate of 1.5%. Whew. That's a damn good deal, okay? So for those of you who qualify for this, please don't miss out. I would say that ASB is certainly more as an investment that you must really consider. 14. For home buyers. Now, if you're a first home buyer, when you buy a house that's below 500,000 in value, you'll get a 100% exemption for stamp duty. However, if you're not a first home buyer, maybe you want to buy a second house or maybe you just want to invest in property, you will still get a 75% exemption on your stamp duty when you buy a house that's valued in between 500,000 to 1 million ringgit. And for those of you who plan to transfer your property to a loved one's, you will get a flat rate of 10 ringgit for the stamp duty. Then, for those of you who are gig workers who find it hard to secure a loan to buy a house, the budget has allocated 3 billion ringgit via the Housing Credit Guarantee Scheme to ease your process of securing your loan by being your guarantor. Certainly, this is not the complete list of everything in Budget 2023. There are other benefits such as for aspiring entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs as well, such as financing schemes, Teams, grants, strategic investment funds in industries. The ones that we have picked here are mainly benefits for individuals and family. So if you want us to make a video on that, do let us know in the comment. Anyway, that's 7 minutes. So tell us which is your favourite item in the list or what do you think of the budget 2023? 